getting outside my van this morning but not letting that ruin my day <laughs> anyway I'm out for my walk I've been doing this for just over a month now getting into the habit of actually getting out moving my body getting a bit of peace and quiet before they get up and uh, it's been lovely because kind of spent rather a long time months perhaps just sat on the bed in front of the laptop and it was making me miserable there's only so much meditating you can do <laughs> so yeah I've kind of formed this little habit of getting up on the morning getting dressed getting out of bed and uh, going for a walk I would highly recommend it the mornings are so lovely like when I first started doing it the sunsets were really early in the morning so and I wasn't getting up at blooming six o'clock not after getting up at 10 11 o'clock daily for <laughs> most of winter so uh, oh, I'm gonna get drowned in the sea here ah. um, so yeah oh I've seen so many pretty colors so many pretty colours. There was one morning where there was literally all the colours of the rainbow in the sky, but like an upside down rainbow. That was gorgeous. I did take pictures, but they're a bit rubbish. So yeah, I'm kind of trying to build up some healthier habits. Uh, can't do anything else, really. Um, I've always, it's something I've always struggled with. If I try and take on too much, I kind of reach a point and then self-sabotage. <laughs> Spinning too many plates is not good for me. Um, so yeah, a tiny little new habit, going for a walk. Anyway, I'm probably boring your tits off, so I'm gonna enjoy my walk. So from like beginning of the year, well, just before new year, um, we've been staying on like a little farm type place and um, 
it was very nice of them to let us stay there but unfortunately they've gone to work away so and we were to be honest we were feeling like it was probably time to move on anyway um but like being out on the road for purdy it really sets him off like on a bit of a de negative spiral because he's just thinking there's going to be you know sh crap from locals or police and stuff like that and to be honest facing that woman this morning when i got out of the door i mean all it was was i said good morning to her and she just gave me this look uh she obviously saw me stepping out of the van and has made her own opinions which is absolutely none of my business but that's I mean, that's not like, you know, major crap, you know, there's no threat on, threat on your life or anything, but it's it's not nice. Um, so yeah, it, it does, it does send Purdy off on one a bit. Um, so it, it, it was rather tense for a, a few hours, <laughs> shall we say. And then uh, we came up with another solution, asked a good friend of ours, a favour and we've managed to find somewhere else to go it's miles away but it's it seems like it might be more of a a longer term option for us so quite looking forward to it um, but we've got a few things to do in between now and then today I've got to go and do laundry which is just a, oh God, what's going on here? The light's gone. <laughs> yeah, laundry today. Um, and then I think, I think we might be driving up north to go and see the kids, the boys. Um, and then we'll go to our new spot. So we've only got like a week on the road. Um, Purge just not be able to stay as mum and dad's this time because the grass will be all boggy and that. We got stuck in it last time, it was a right pain in the ass. So, yeah, we'll find somewhere in between now and getting up to that place. Oh, which I'm, I'm dead excited about, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love travel. I'm at home when I'm on the road. But right now, it's just, it's, it's one of them things, if, you know, it, it's a worry being out, it's a worry for, you know, my husband's mental health, it's it's all just a big worry, the road now, right now, where, you know, I would rather be on it, oh wow, I found the most perfect shell, sorry, sorry, I'm, sh I'm sure I've got ADHD, look, <laughs> I'm a piece of wood. I got an even better one yesterday. I'll show you it when I get back. I can't help it. I'm supposed to be out here, you know, getting my heart rate up and getting a bit healthier. I just keep stopping. <laughs> oh, pretty shell. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, with worry, like, what is the point in worrying about stuff? Because if you can change it, if you can do something about it, then do something about it. You don't need to worry, then, do you? If you can't, it's out of your hands, so what's the point? And, you know, we did have um, an option of staying somewhere else. I mean, loads of people have offered places to stay, so this, th that takes that worry away. So while all of this crap's going on, I'd rather just be in one place, but not in a concrete jungle, not around loads of people like that, then that would, that would definitely affect my mental health then. I need, I need some greenery, I need the time to be by myself and, you know, sociable whenever I feel like being sociable kind of thing, which is the sort of person I am. Introverted extrovert, is what I am. The label. Anyway, uh, yeah, so for a little bit. She's bringing all the toys up here. 
What about your sandcastle? Go and show everybody on your sandcastle. You can't move it out of the ground because it might break. Oh. Bit of creative genius going on there, isn't the pet? Morning, guys. So after our couple of nights at the beach we decided to head back north to come and see the boys we've got um another i think i mentioned it actually another park up to go to but we're gonna stay here get the van sorted out it just could do with a good clean and i'm uh, i'm in the mood for a purge i've just been going through all of my stuff and i found these i've just been emptying my wardrobe i want to sort out all my clothes and stuff but i've just found these i've totally forgot about these this um oh let it focus this was Kaylin's first set of shoes she's just she was literally out of hospital for about a week when she was poorly um that's just getting her new shoes look how tiny she looks oh and then this one it's like i think it's the only f actual physical photograph i've got of me and purdy look at that handsome stud my hair's really blonde there, that's natural. It just got really dark over the last God knows how many years since that was taken. <laughs> and then this little newspaper clipping I kept, my son Freddie. They had a competition at school to design a cake for the Queen's Jubilee. Um, and he, he was one of the winners. So he got to go to Betty's to go and see the cake, came back with all sorts of yummy goodies. It's more of the boys when they were little. Three of them. And another two. They're my, my two. That's uh, Purdy's youngest. <laughs> They'll probably kill me for putting that in there. <laughs> A lot bigger now. The tower over me. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> I didn't keep much. I've got a few other bits at me, me old neighbours under her stairs. Uh, little pictures and stuff that actually mean something. But yeah, these uh, these stay with me. <laughs> oh, this is rare. Hey! Yeah, we're in the van. We're on the move. Don't and we'll you let get you know. In this house. <laughs> <laughs> We'll let you know what. We'll let you know where we're going when we get there. I but think Kayla's somebody just has. Just dropped us in it. <laughs> Shall I just leave that in? It's kind yeah, of cute. kind of cute. Right, we'll see you when we get to where we're going, and yeah. um, hopefully we can keep posting Bye, out guys. some more vlogs. Bye guys. Daddy. Bye guys. I'm trying to find where we're going. To do this house. Caught you. <laughs> what are you doing in Jonah's bedroom? <laughs> About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.